Welcome inside OUA.TV and CBC Sports for the second half of our doubleheader between the University of Ottawa GGs and the Carlton Ravens. It is the Capital Hoops Classic, and we get set for tip-off momentarily. Chris Curry's here with Gary Gallimore. What's set to be a great matchup between the second-ranked Carlton Ravens and the number three-ranked University of Ottawa GGs. And we have got tip-off. And it's underway. Gari, welcome inside the broadcast here. What is the key to tonight's game? I think the key, key to tonight's game is definitely going to be consistency on offense and defense for both teams. You have the number two ranked Carlton Ravens versus the number three ranked GGs. Both teams are capable. Both teams are solid teams, offensive and defensively. It's about consistency tonight. Who can get stops and who can score points? That's just the bottom line. GG's go into this one 14 and 3 on the season. Carlton are 13 and 4. Carlton in their black jerseys with red trim. Warnholt steps back first. First attempt no good while the GG's are in their gray jerseys with their garnet trim. O2 drops it off to Cole Newton. Into Nkumsa. Trying to back down Shepard. That's going to be a tall task. Shepard 6'10. Great feed. Nice finish from O2. First bucket of the evening for the GGs. That was a brilliant play by Josh and great recognition. What they want, what the Carlton Ravens want him to do is crab dribble back to the middle, but they want to force him out of the middle and make him make a play going to the baseline. He did just that, and O2 had a wonderful finish. And we're going to get a whistle here. That's an offensive foul called on the Ravens. So Newton, Stajic. Pepe, Inkumsa, and O2 on the court for the GGs. And we've got a three for Inkumsa. That one's off target. Now the Ravens are starting lineups. Grant Shepard, Wazir Latif, Elliot Bailey, Aiden Warnholt, and Connor Vreken. Vreken averaging a little over 12 a night. Trying to get it to Shepard, but gets knocked out of bounds by Stajic. Both teams kind of feeling each other out now, trying to get the jitters out. This is a big game on a big stage. So first you got to get the jitters out, and then from there you just play. Play hard basketball. And met at the rim for the GGs. Good strong take by Latif, but no finish. Pepe thought about the three. Does not take it. Stajic. In the court, Newton Drive stops and pops from 14 feet. And the rebound falls to Warnholtz. Warnholtz into the corner. And well short on that take from Bailey. The offensive board gets taken and then lost. It's back to the GGs. Newton for three. And bounces out. And we got an offensive rebound. It gets back. It's swung. Keeps going and they ends up getting it to Inkumsa. 0 oh, 2, the corner three. A defensive rebound for the Carlton Ravens. Warnholtz stops. The little jumper is good. He leads this Ravens squad with nearly 17 tonight and coming off Player of the Week honors for U Sports. Absolutely, he's a tremendous player. He's coming also coming off a big weekend last weekend against Queens and Ontario Tech. Averaged 32 points. Great player, outstanding player, and you can look for him to lead that Ravens team tonight. Pepe drives baseline, not able to finish. A little bit short. Warnholtz gets it up quickly. They lose the handle, but it ends up falling back to Warnholtz. Fakes out in Kumsa. Jumper short, but Grant Shepard, six foot ten. Gets the board, tough, tough matchup. And that's a big guy right there in the paint doing what a big guy does. Get the rebound, keep the ball high, and finish. And that, that was a great finish. Pepe. 
Jumper with the friendly roll. Tied at four. Latif drives, the left-handed finish is good. So Carlton up six to four early. 0-2 drops it off for Stajic. Pepe, the straightaway three, that one's gonna be short, but offensive board in Kumsa. Pepe thought about trying again. Ends up getting it to Newton, but loses the handle. So we got a couple of substitutions coming in now. Warnholtz covered by Gometa. After the switch now, covered by Nkumsa. Vreken back to Warnholtz. And not able to finish with the right hand, but the offensive board is Okado. Beautiful feed, great finish by Reginald Jean Serafin. Absolutely great find. The player was buried deep in that, on the, on the back line of that offense. Dumped it off to him, got an easy two points. Carlton now with the early 8-4 lead. Dragon almost loses the handle. He's going to have to take a tough shot. Ends up hitting back iron. And a beautiful finish by Warnholtz, who just blew by the defender. Gometa trying everything he could, but Warnholtz, Warnholtz just a little bit too slippery. Kumsa looking to back down a defender, gets doubled, they swing it. Newton's got some open space. The three-pointer is good. <laughs> Gigi's cut the early deficit down to 10-7. And we've got a bit more than four minutes left to go in this first quarter. Brock Newton. who recently just checked in for the first time. Some more size on the court. Gigi's now swing it. Stajic works around a double. Finds Brock Newton. And the little floater is good. And that's what you get from Brock, Chris. Brock is a, is a big guy in the paint. He has a great touch around the basket. He understands the game well. He knows how to get open, and he knows how to finish and make those easy points. And then you got Aiden Warnholtz on the Carlton side. Just knocking back three-pointers, deadly. Absolutely, they're definitely gonna have to keep their eyes on Warren Holtz because we know he's a big part of what the Ravens do and they gotta keep him in check if they wanna have a chance tonight. And Newton a bit short on that, but Guimetta, a strong board, but he's gonna get whistled, I think, for a foul now. And he does, so that's the GG's first foul. First foul, actually, of the contest so far. So quick check on the history of the Capital Hoops Classic here between the Gigi's and the Ravens. This is the 16th meeting between the men's teams. Carlton have the all-time lead, 12 wins, the Gigi's with three, but two of the Gigi's wins in the last six years. So some early dominance by Carlton, and then a lot closer here, and we're gonna get a whistle here called Pepe gets fouled. So the last six contests have been much closer. GG's have won two, Ravens have won four. Stajic into Pepe. Posting up. A beautiful find for 0-2. The triple from the corner. Just a bit off target. Now Vreekin the other way for the Ravens. Drops it to Latif. 
And a nice play by Stajic to knock it out of bounds. Great hands by Stajic. Looks like on the replay, it might have went off of Stajic, but they're going to call it Gigi's ball. Close, though. Tough to call. Quick substitution back in. Samaha checks out Shepard back in. Shepard averaging 15-10 on the season, so double-double average. Pepe goes baseline, tries to find Brock Newton. He does get it to him, but Pepe finds himself a little open in the corner. And he tries to get one up as the shot clock expiring. No call. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. I felt like Pepe had a couple opportunities to shoot an open shot. He took that extra dribble and turned the ball over. And going the other way now, Stajic drops it off. We've got a three-pointer for 0-2. Couple of big ones for the GGs now. 13 to 12, Ravens are leading. Absolutely, big shot by 0-2, cut the lead down to one. Much needed three point basket, a much needed basket by the GGs. And Latif, can he answer? No, off target. And drops out of bounds. Warren Holtz back in for the Ravens. Stajic out for the GGs. Newton near the three-point line, drops it off to Cole Newton, who drives the left-handed finish, no good. Warren holds the rebound. Looking up for some help, but he slows it down. Couple dribbles behind the back, and he gives it away. And a beautiful steal by Brock Newton. Active uh, hands. Absolutely. Brock Newton, again, a very versatile player. Has a great touch inside and a great touch outside. That's a little brother-on-brother brother crime there. Absolutely. One with the steal, one with the three-pointer. That was Cole Newton giving the GGs the lead, 15 to 13. So quick pause here. We're going to get a quick cleanup crew here at TD Place Arena. Ravens get it into Shepard. He gets double teamed and stolen. And there goes 0-2 the other way. But not able to finish the second chance is good. That's just great defense by 0-2. Good decision by Cole Newton to follow. Follow for the finish even though 0-2 didn't make the layup. Cole was there to clean it up. 27 seconds left in this first quarter. Nice block by Brock Newton. And comes down with the rebound, and we get a whistle. GG is definitely feeling it right now, Chris. That's what happens when you have teams that play good defense and are able to capitalize offensively. Brock Newton has been everywhere so far. He's been in the paint. He's been blocking shots, and now he's getting steals, and now he forces a turnover for his team. Great job by Brock. Great energy by the GGs. Let's see if the Carlton Ravens can match it going down the court. 21 seconds left, and the GGs will have a chance for the final possession of this first quarter. 
Cole Newton works around a screen from Brock. And looks like they're going to try something again here. Only a couple of seconds left. Cole Newton's going to have to put it up. Doesn't get one up in time, so not a great possession. But GG's still go into the break here between quarters with a 17 to 13 lead. We'll be back in a few moments here on OUA.TV and CBC Sports. Second quarter getting underway here at TD Place. It's the Capital Hoops Classic, the men taking on the Ravens and the GGs. Warnholtz looking to make something happen here. He is the leading scorer on the season for the Ravens. And throws it cross court. We've got a three in the corner, short from Latif. A lot of contact on that attempted rebound. A lot of contact there. Absolutely. Definitely a lot of contact. It looked like Cole Newton had possession of the ball. Looked like he got hit a couple times and unfortunately he went off then. But great call by the refs. Great pressure by the Ravens. The play continues and Gigi's a little bit out of sorts and we get a triple there from Bailey from the UK. Brock Newton drops it off to Cole Newton. They find Pepe. The little jumper, a little bit short. That one gets knocked out of bounds, and we'll see which way it goes. And they're going to call it Ravens ball. Warren holds the nice spin but good recovery from Guameta to keep going. Vreekin drives with the left hand. A lot of contact, Shepard. Excuse me, that's Bailey. He'll head to the line for two. And that was a great decision by Vreekin, penetrating the paint, getting in the middle, and dumping it off to Bailey. Didn't get to finish the basket, but he got. now he's going to the line for two free throws. Great job, great job by the Ravens.
So two of two from the line. Carlton quick five points this quarter. And they've regained the lead. Pepe guarded by Shepard. Drives to his right hand. Dumps it off to Brock Newton. A bit too strong on that hook shot. Warnholt steps back, the triple. Beautiful finish. Absolutely, great move by Warnholt. Stumbles his defender, creates space, and was able to knock down an open shot. Great offense, leads to three easy points. 0-2 drives into the lane, Pepe kicks out the three. Just a bit too strong, rattles in. And turnover there from the Ravens. So GG's looking still for their first points of this quarter. It's been a little bit more than two minutes so far. Newton drives the little short hook shot. And a little bit too short. And here's Warnholtz the other way. Crossing midcourt, you got to take him up early. Guarded by Guemetta. Drives to his left, dumps it off. And we get a whistle and we're going to see who heads to the line. I think it's Bailey once more. That was great recognition by Warren Hulls, attacking the defense, forcing the help to commit, and then dumping it off to his big man for the foul. Now he's going to the free throw line. Gometa is doing a, a good job on Warren Hulls so far, but it's important for him to keep that play in front of him because we know how dangerous Warren Hulls is with the ball. Keep him in front, force him to pass the ball early, and make sure he doesn't get it back. Bailey, one of two from the line. So Ravens are up five. Pepe drives, kicks to Cole Newton. A lot of contact, they're gonna call offensive foul on Newton. Charge taken by Warnholtz. That was great anticipation by Warnholtz. Cole jabbed left, but ended up driving right. Warnholtz held his ground and was able to get a charge for his team. Turnover for the GGs. Now the Ravens ball going the other way. Coach Durbin recognizing that Cole has two fouls. It's a good decision to get him out early. You don't want him picking up that third foul this early in the game. Hopefully save him later and bring him back a little bit later where he can help the team push forward. Ravens, here's Latif. Drives into some traffic. And a lot of contact, and that's going to be Samaha who heads to the line for Carlton. Fans behind us aren't too happy with that call, so they're letting the ref have a piece of their mind. And the first free throw for Samaha rattles out. And the second one goes right through. So Carlton with another lead extension, 23 to 17. You're listening here on OUA.TV and CBC Sports. It's the Capital Hoops Classic, the 16th matchup between these two teams and Kevin O2 feeling it today. Absolutely. Another triple. Yeah, and that's the good thing about shooting that three point shot, Chris. You're never really out of the game, especially if it's a close game. Three points makes a huge difference. Cuts the lead down to three for Carlton, who have possession now. Here's Samaha. He was looking for Vreekin, couldn't find him. Ends up getting poked away by Stajic, and that's going to be a backcourt violation. So great defensive play by Dragon. Absolutely.
So there was some confusion here, but we are going to get a timeout called by the GGs. Little over six minutes left in this second quarter. Gigi's coming off their first bucket of this second quarter. Looking to make it another. Inkumsa drops it off to Kevin O'Toole. He's got a pair of triples looking for three. Gets rattled away, but they get it back and O2 drives. Drops it off to Brock Newton. Not able to finish around the rim on that one. He'll want that back. Warnholtz for the Ravens. They get it into Grant Shepard. And that's going to be a travel call, so tough one for Shepard. Gigi's definitely caught a break there. You saw Grant Shepard working really hard in the post. You know he wanted that ball to put it in the hoop, but unfortunately, great defense. Well, great defense by the Gigi's forcing the turnover. In Kumsa, guarded by Shepard. Very strong take by Josh. Nice bucket. Gigi's now down by one. Absolutely. Great recognition by Josh and Kumsa. Carlton's been forcing him to dribble to the baseline to make that pass out of the post, but this time he recognized they weren't coming and attacked the hoop for an easy two. Off target from Carlton. They're going to get it up quick, the Gigi's. Pepe drops it off to Josh and Kumsa. Thought about a three. Pepe takes it from straight away. And the offensive board for Dragon. Who gets it back. And he had a little bit of space. The little jumper. And we're going to get a whistle. It's going to be a call. We'll see who it's on. It's on a Raven. And that's on Warnholtz. And that's the second foul on Warnholtz. And we will get a timeout. This one called by Ravens coach Taffy Charles. So once again here on OUA.TV and CBC Sports, another break.
And we're back here, OUA.TV and CBC Sports. Four minutes and 45 seconds left in this first half. In Kumsa now, looking to back down Shepard. Trying to take a Gigi's lead. And a beautiful finish for Josh with the left hand. Gigi's got a one point lead. Once again, great recognition. Once again, great recognition by Josh. They did not send the double team. He recognized that early, backed his defender down, and had a nice scoop shot for two points. And a poor pass there by Vreekin. That's a turnover, and now they're going to go the other way. Josh, can he make it three straight? But he knows it's short. Looks for his own rebound, cannot get it. Ravens now up, and here's Warren Holtz, guarded by Guimetta. We've seen what Aiden can do. Picks up his dribble. Latif has it now, guarded by Kevin O2. Spins to his left and cannot finish. A little bit too strong. Pepe has it. And now to Dragon Stajic. Guillaume drives. He gets fouled, and he'll head to the line for two free throws. Pepe misses both from the line, very uncharacteristic. And we get a whistle there, a foul on Inkumsa. So it was a before the shot foul, but GG's are in bonus, so Carlton heads to the line now. Shepard makes his first. We've got a tie game now. Bit low scoring though, don't you find? It's Absolutely, and that's a testament to the defense both teams are playing. That's great defense, a low scoring game like this. It's still a very intense game. It's just a matter of each team just not giving up easy on, on defense, making it tough for their opponents. So great to see, and let's see who can outlast for the rest of the game. As a fan, you just want a close game, and it's looking like it's mostly a packed house here at TD Place for the second half of our doubleheader between the Capital Hoops Classic and the Ravens and the GGs. And O2 drives, gonna have to put it up, and he does. Beautiful finish for Kevin O2. Great decision again by O2. The clock was ticking down. He had a chance to shoot a three, which would have been contested. Ball fake. Attack the rim, easy two points. Ornholtz stops the little floater a la Tony Parker. A little bit short. And the other way. And once again, 0-2 heads to the line to finish up the three-point play. And that's what and that's what that's what we're accustomed to seeing from the GG's Chris. Defense to offense. Get stops. Get out in transition and get easy baskets. So far, it's been good for the Gigi's. Great find by Dragon Stajic to get it up quickly. Saw that O2 was cut into the basket. And O2 just using that speed. Yep, great, great heads up play by Stajic. So Gigi's nice little run there. They've got a five point lead. Ravens to see if they can respond. Here's Warren Holtz, guarded by O2. Now guarded by Nkumsa. Looking in to try to get it to Shepard, but they do not. Warren Holtz now. Loses the handle twice. We're going to get a whistle, and that will be two more free throws for Shepard.
Shepard, one of two from the line. Gigi's up four. Two and a half minutes left in this first half. In Kumsa, backs down defender, loses his footing, loses the handle. But he's able to get back in time on defense. Latif drives, looked like a bit of a travel, no call. Breaking the no-look pass to Warnholtz, who steps back for three. That's a big bucket for the Ravens to stop a bit of the bleeding, and it's now only a one-point game. Absolutely, great shot. GG's felt like the Ravens got, got, got away with the walk there a little bit, but turned out to be a great possession for the Ravens, ended up in a three-point shot. Brock Newton, the little jumper. And a nice steal by Stajic. And he finds a cutting 0-2. And we're going to get a whistle here. And uh, tough to see from the angle, but the GGs are clapping. So it was clearly a defensive foul. And that's just, again, credit to Stajic. He's doing the little things. He's getting stops. He's getting turnovers. Forced a big turnover there. Dumped it off to 0-2. 0-2 didn't get to finish, but it's going to the line for two free throws. Stajic and his 0-2 have just been all over the court so far in this first half. You know it's an unexpected turnover when your teammates are still running the other way. Absolutely, exactly. But good good decision for Stajic, though. It could have been a bit of a gamble. He could have been uh, left behind and have a, have, give Ravens the advantage going the other way. But he wrestled that ball away, dumped it off to 0-2. Big play. So 0-2 short on that first free throw. But he hits the second one. So GG's up by two. Latif guarded by Brock Newton. Latif goes to his right and rattles up at a strong offensive board for the Ravens. That was Samaha. Great rebound by Samaha. Great position, had great position in the first place, got the rebound and was able to give his team an easy two points off the offensive rebound. And after the bucket was made, which turned this into a tie game, we have a timeout called by the GGs. Game tied at 30, GG's possession. Stajic drives, they kick it back to Pepe who drives his own, finds Brock Newton. We've got in the corner Stajic. A lot of moving parts there, but the basket no good for the GG's. Now our final minute left of this first half. Latif goes behind his back. Beautiful play. 
Mercado thought about the three, takes the little step back jumper. Doesn't get a friendly roll. We're gonna get a whistle here called on, I think it's Bailey. Yeah, it's gonna be called on Bailey. Yeah, just a bit of a push off. Pepe was trying to get the rebound. Great opportunity for University of Ottawa here to get a two for one. 42 seconds left in the game. Pepe into the line for two free throws. They still have enough time to go back the other way, get a stop, and get another possession. So Pepe recovers after those two missed free throws earlier this quarter. He makes both of those right there. Gigi's now up 32 to 30. And with 42 seconds left, we'll get another quick timeout here. This one called by Coach Taffy Charles. So back momentarily here, OUA.TV and CBC Sports. We're nearing the end of the first half here. The Capital Hoops Classic between the men's Ravens and Gigi's squads. It's 32 to 30. Gigi's lead by two. Ravens inbounding with 40 seconds left to go in this first half. Latif. Little step back jumper, no good. In Klumsa, the rebound gets it up quickly to Pepe. A little bit of a two on one, but he takes it himself. And he hits the deck hard. 10 seconds left in this quarter. Latif, chance for the last shot. And dumps it off to Shepard. A big block, but we get some contact. So with 0.4 seconds left, Shepard will head to the line. Beautiful feed by Latif to find Shepard there. Absolutely, great decision by Latif. Great hands by Shepard, able to hold on to the ball, draw the contact. Now he's at the foul line for two shots. So he misses the first one. And he hits the second, and we've got 0.4 seconds, so that should end it now. And that'll end it for the half. Gigi's up by one, the Capital Hoops Classic of 2023. We've got halftime now on OUA.TV and CBC Sports.
Welcome back to OUA.TV and CBC Sports. It is the second half of the Capital Hoops Classic between the University of Ottawa GGs and the Carlton Ravens. Score after the half, 32-31. Make it 34-31 after that bucket by Cole Newton. GGs up by three. Gary, what what'd you take away from that first half? I think first, first half is clear that both teams want to win this game. They're both playing great defense. The only thing is the GGs haven't been able to capitalize on the easy opportunity they've, they've gotten consistently, consistently, but it's a close game. Carlton's playing tough. So far, unfortunately, they gave up 11 turnovers, which I think which is one of the reasons why the game is so close. But nonetheless, great intensity from both teams. Both teams are battling out. It's just a matter of who's going to outlast who going into that last quarter and who wants it more. Gigi's going up with some numbers into the corner. Pepe thought about the three, gives it to a more open Newton. And off target. Nice behind the back from Warren Holtz. Gets by, but big block from Pepe. Warren Holtz definitely a master with the ball handling, doing a great job going coast to coast. But great job by the GGs recognizing O2 was down on the floor, sending the help early, blocking the shot and forcing the ball out of bounds. Shot clock at 14. Latif inbounding, gets it to Shepard. Guarded by Inkumsa. Trying to back down Josh. Shepard spins once, spins twice, the left-handed. Big block against the backboard by Nkumsa. And they're going to whistle him for a foul. That was a great move by Grant Shepard, backing down Nkumsa, going up for the up and under. Didn't make the first one, got his rebound, and was called for a foul. I'm not a referee, but see, it didn't seem yeah. like there was too much contact there, Chris. Yeah, I saw the replay there. It looked like he kind of pinned it up against the back of the backboard. But at the end of the day, it's a whistle, and Shepard heads to the line, makes his first one. And that's also three fouls for Josh and Kunsa, so he's got to be a little bit more careful going throughout the rest of the game. You don't want to pick up that fourth foul too soon. A great decision by Coach Derwin, subbing him out, bringing somebody else in, just in case he so he doesn't pick up that fourth foul. 34 to 33, the score. GG's up by one. Eight and a half minutes left in this third quarter. Kevin 02, guarded by Bailey. Seven seconds left. They get it to Pepe on the baseline. He's got some space. 02 for three. He'll head to the line, but they're going to whistle for a foul. They're going to call it on the floor. So two got fouled. The refs are saying after he finished his shot. We'll see the replay right here. That definitely would have to be a shooting foul, Chris. We saw the ball that Howard left O2's hand and before he got the contact. So then he's in the shooting motion. That should be a shooting foul. That's a missed call by the referees, but they also have a tough job tonight. Pepe now to inbounds. So we'll see how the GGs recover from that, see if it gives them a little motivation. Into Brock Newton. Spun a couple times back out beyond the arc. O2 gets it up just in time for three. And that's an air ball. Had to get that one up a little bit quickly. Probably wasn't able to set his feet properly. And we have another turnover. Warren Holtz guarded by Pepe. And gets the friendly shooter's roll. Great body, great way to use his body. Beat the bigger defender, but also leaned in to initiate the contact to keep that defender back and able to float it up over him for two points. Stiage drives baseline, ends it. Brock Newton loses the handle. Vreek into Warren Holtz, now guarded by O2. Shepard double teamed by O2 and Newton 
loses the handle, gets knocked out of bounds, it will stay with the Ravens. And Guimeta checks in for Pepin. Guillaume's had a bit of a rough evening. Only four points. Warnholtz puts it up with the shot clock expiring. And grabbed by O2. They've got some numbers there going up quickly with some transition. Good active hands by Bailey. Stole that pass from O2. It was intended for Rock Newton, and now Warren holds the other way. Into the corner. The three taken and made by Vreekin. Stajic into the corner. They get it to Guimeta. Almost answers with the three, but just rattled out of the front and back of the iron. Ravens sensing a little bit of momentum right here. Two opportunities offensively. Here's an easy basket again. I was about to say, I wouldn't be surprised to see a timeout here from Coach Jarwin for the GGs, and we do get one. So we'll take a pause here now with the GGs down six here on OUA TV and CBC Sports. Quick nine points there for the Ravens. They've now got a six point lead with a little less than six minutes and 20 seconds left in this third quarter. Stajic for three. And that one's off Guimeta, not able to corral the rebound. And Latif initiating the offense, driving in. Left-handed finish, beautiful finish with the left hand. Seems like everything is going the Ravens' right, way right now, Chris. We haven't seen this kind of consistency from them since the first since the first quarter. Looks like they found a little bit of momentum. They're making the right plays and getting good results from them. Stajic steps back for three. That one's short. Gaba saves it though, gets it to Gometa. Another save, but this one into the hands of Latif. Another three for Warnholtz. That's a guy on the court you can't lose sight of, Chris. We know he shoots it well. He had a great weekend last weekend against Queens. Went six for 10 from three-point line. You know he could knock that shot down. And a great response by O2. One that was badly needed by the GGs. They're still down eight. Absolutely. Great. Hopefully they can stop the run and get back into this game. And an offensive foul called on Latif. And you can see him there, just a little bit of a moving screen. Trying to get around Guimeta. Antoine Gaba and Stajic check out. Guillaume Pepin is in along with Brock Newton for the GGs.
Cold Newton to Brock Newton. They find a cutting Pepe. The left-handed finish, great passing play for the GGs. Absolutely, great job by Pepe, curling that screen tight, getting himself open to get an easy layup. Great find. Bornholtz guarded by Guameta. Okado curling around the screen. Back to Warnholtz. And Okado for three. And that one's short, but O2 gets the rebound, but loses the handle out of bounds. So, tough one. Definitely a tough one, Chris. Great defense by the GGs, but unfortunately the ball went off O2 out of bounds. Carlton possession. I'm sure the Ravens are happy to have the ball back. Warren Holtz for three. And another one right in the face of the GG's bench. He's got 21. And Guillaume Pepin drives baseline, works through some contact, not able to finish. And Okado guarded by O2 now as the Ravens try to extend this lead. He drops it off to Samaha. Huge block from O2, swatted that one away. And O2 went in with the left hand, doesn't get it to go, but he'll head to the line for two. You gotta love a guy like O2, Chris. He's a tough player, big defensive play here, blocking that shot, getting down there, recognizing he had a lane. Punching the gap to the hoop. Didn't get an easy basket, but he got a foul. He's going to the free throw line for two. And that was just a great take by O2, just noticing that he had the lane Absolutely. and attacking it. Absolutely. O2 makes both of them from the line. So once again, we've got a seven point lead now for the Ravens with a little bit more than three minutes left in this third quarter. And the jumper good for the Ravens. That's Vreeken. That was a great move by Vreeken with that one legged step back. Great shot, great control. Cole Newton looking to step back, maybe, no, he drives, spins, the little right-handed floater is off target. So Ravens now, nine point lead, two and a half minutes left in this third quarter. Ravens once again in their black jerseys. And we've got a steal there from the GGs who are in gray. And a quick whistle here. As we get a foul, that's gonna be on Draken. Jean Serafin and Warnholtz check in for the Ravens. Pepe, he'll head to the line after getting fouled.
Ravens trying to extend this lead. Warnholtz guarded by Brock Newton. Goes behind the back to his right hand. Big block by Brock. Brock Newton, definitely a big, versatile player. You saw him there guarding the point guard, Warnholtz, doing a great job forcing him to dribble, dribble, and then blocking your shot. That's not an easy task to do, but Brock is out there, and he's battling, and he's playing tough. Great defense by Brock Newton. Refs are going to put four seconds back on the shot clock. As we've got two minutes left in this third quarter. Warnholtz inbounding. Into Latif, who steps back, takes the long two. And Pepin grabs the rebound. Stajic into Brock Newton to Guillaume Pepin. Drives to his right hand. Ends up hitting the deck, but can't finish. Okado steps in, the little floater is just a bit short. And now the GGs have it, trying to again cut into this deficit that is now at eight. Stajic drives, kicks it back to Cole Newton, drives left hand, and he can't finish. Looking for a call, does not get it. And we've got a minute left in this third quarter. Definitely a lot of contact on that drive, drive Chris. I thought it would be a foul for sure, but refs are just letting them play at this point. As long as you call it the same both sides. Pepe for three very early in the shot clock. And that one's going to be a miss. Not the kind of shot you're looking for at this part of the game, Chris. You're trying to mount a comeback. You want to make good decisions, make take good shots, work the ball around, make the defense work, and try to get them get them to commit to easy and giving you an easy basket. But not that kind of shot at this stage of the game, Chris. And tough for Pepe. He wasn't going a little bit of a cold spell here, but... What always helps is playing good defense, and they force Okado and the Ravens into a shot clock violation. So now we've got 22 seconds left. GGs have a chance for the final shot of the quarter. In checks in Kevin O'Toole, and then Sam Plater as well, his first few minutes here for the GGs. Yep, this is a crucial possession for the GGs. They have a chance to make it a two-possession game going into the fourth quarter. Hopefully they capitalize and make a good decision going here. Newton to Newton, we've got 13 seconds left. He drops it off to Kevin O2. Working around a screen from Brock Newton. They get to Cole Newton. Got four seconds left, he's gotta get something up here. And that left-handed finish got swatted by Grant Shepard, and that's gonna be the end of our third quarter. We go to the break, 50 to 42. Carlton lead the Capital Hoops Classic of 2023 here on OUA.TV and on CBC Sports.
Welcome back to OUA.TV and CBC Sports. I'm Chris Curry's here with Gary Gallimore. It's the fourth quarter. Capital Hoops Classic. It's an eight-point game. And it's a good one between the Ravens, who have 50, and the GGs, who have 42. And we get a travel here from the Ravens, so great defense to start from the GGs. Ravens looking to win back-to-back -back Capital Hoops Classics. They won the last one in 2022 by a score of 71-58. to That was a 13-point victory. The one before that, the GGs won by two points, so it was a close one. And we've got a triple in the corner from Vraken, so great start offensively for Carlton. Carlton Ravens definitely continuing their hot streak from the last quarter. Great response by Stajic from long much, distance. Much needed basket, timely three-point shot by Stajic. Warren Holtz guarded by Brock Newton, picks up his dribble, gives it to Bailey. Into Grant Shepard, he's got a mismatch, but they're going to call that for a travel. That's a good call from the ref, moved his feet. Yeah, that was a great move by Cole Newton. He was definitely outmatched there by Big Grant Shepard in the post. Cole Newton pulled the chair on him, forced him to travel, forced a turnover for the GGs. So 53-45, Ravens are up by eight. Cole Newton now drives, kicks it out to Kevin O'Toole well behind the three line. I know two's got some space, looks good in the air. And looks right through. And we are going to call a foul on the court. So we get a foul away from the ball from Nkumsa. And those ones definitely hurt Chris and Kumza picking up four fouls. But great response. We get a five second violation. Don't see too many of those. Absolutely not, but that was a great job by O2 denying the ball, the inbound, pa in inbound pass after making such a big shot. Two back to back big plays for O2s. Let's see if he can continue to push this GG's comeback. O2, can he go back to back? A little bit strong, it might have been a bit of a heat check there. And great play by Vraken. Great basket by Vraken for sure. Great job creating space, giving himself that open two point shot. And Cole Newton answers back for three. A little bit of a fake, created some separation. And we've got a four-point contest. And I think this is what the crowds wants to see, Chris. Everybody's cheering. They're excited to see the, both teams going back and forth. Five, seven minutes left in the game. It's a matter of who wants it more, and both teams are battling it out. Shepard a bit too strong. Rebound by Cole Newton. And the GGs with a little bit of life going the other way. Stajic into the corner. Pepe for three. Short, but it gets poked away, and the GGs get the offensive rebound. Kevin O'Toole guarded by Warren Holtz. They get it to Cole Newton. He stops for his own three. But Brock Newton, the rebound. And they swing it again. O'Toole guarded by Bailey. With six seconds on the shot clock. They're going to have to get something up. Pepe Stajic, he's got some space. And they had a lot of opportunities there. A couple of good looks. But no basket as we tick under seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Warren Holtz gives it up to Bailey, gets it back. Guarded by Brock Newton. Kicks to the corner, that's Latif for three. And a good rebound by Pepe. Stajic drives to his left. 
swings it cross court. They get it back. Here's Pepe drives. And back out to Cole Newton. We've got eight on the shot clock. That countdown from the bench is on. Cole Newton nowhere to go, but Brock Newton knows he has to put it up. At least hits the rim, but it's a rebound for the Ravens. Pepe guarding Warren Holtz. Warren Holtz just steps back and good offense right there. Just a beautiful step back jumper for the Ravens. Absolutely tough, tough, tough basket by Aiden. I thought Pepe did a great job defensively, but Aiden being a great player, that's what you do. You make tough shots against tough defense. And Pepe tries to respond and he does with a three. So it's a one possession game now, 57-54, and we have got a timeout by Coach Taffy Charles of the Ravens. So we will be back for the end of this fourth quarter. Ravens up three. Five minutes and 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter of the Capital Hoops Classic. Lifetime matchups between the two. Carlton with 12 victories, three for the GGs. GGs looking for their fourth. Carlton looking for their 13th and second straight. It's a packed house here at TD Place Arena. And it's a nail biter right down to the finish. Warren Holtz for the Ravens. Jean Serafin loses it. And the steal for the GGs and Kevin O2. Stajic behind the back, Pepe. Trying to clear out. Fights through some contact. Does not have it, but it's going to be GGs ball. Looked like it might have gone deflected by a, a fingertip. That's why Gigi's retained possession. We got five minutes passed in this fourth quarter. Samaha gets the offensive rebound, and this one goes for Stajic, 0-2 oh, for three. And Stajic gets whistled for a foul on Latif. Good. Shepard back in for the Ravens. In Kumsa in for the GGs. And here comes Okado as well for Carlton. And a nice steal, and that's going to be. Whoa, no call there at all. Surprising. As Warnholtz lost it, but then got it back. And a beautiful finish with the left hand for Okado. 
That was very beautiful. Great attack, great decision, and great finish. Dragon Stajic throws it to the corner. Gometa. Josh and Kumsa backing down Shepard. Open in the corner is Stajic. He's got the three to go. The Gigi's back within two. And a whistle called on Guameta. A little bit too active hands on Warnholtz, trying to deny him entry. There's the rebound. Great feed from the replay. Excuse me. Great feed from Nkumsa to find Stajic in the corner. That was a great shot by Stajic. Needed a big shot like that. Now it's a two-possession game. Just over three minutes to go. Now it's just a matter of gut, gutting it out till the end. Okado. Likely going to be looking for Warnholtz, you would think. Nice steal by Nkumsa. And he takes it in alone. And we've got a tie game. Great defensive position by Josh and Kumza. Stealing the ball from a guard and pushing it all the way for two points. That's a great play, a big and a timely play for the GGs. Wow. Warnholtz now guarded by Nkumza. Tie game at 59, less than three and a half to go. And the jumper good for Vraken. Tough basket by Connor Vreken, but again, a timely basket. Th just over three minutes to go, and the game is just heating up. And they kick it to Pepe, who stops. The jumper no good. We've got a rebound for the Ravens. And now less than three minutes left. Mornholtz directing traffic. Now guarded by Pet Peng, squares him up. Warnholtz, great finish. The finger wow. roll. Beautiful take by Warnholtz. Very good body control. Looked like an awkward layup, but a very skilled move for a great finish. Got a timeout here called by the GGs. And we'll take one more look at that. Warnholtz just getting right by Pet Peng, works through some contact, and just finds that right perfect spot off glass for it to drop in. So how does it, what's the message here when you're Coach Darwin for the GGs? Let's start there quickly. What's the message? You're down four, a couple minutes left. Well, I think for sure, like the last play you saw, Warren Holtz attacking there for, the, for what seemed like an easy layup just because he's such a crafty player. The important thing is to control Warren Holtz. You know what he's looking to do at this point in the game? He's looking to take over and he's looking to change the course of the game in the favor of the Ravens. Control him. Force him to get rid of the basketball and make somebody else make a tough play. And so far, when other players have had the ball, the GGs were fortunate to take the ball away and go the other way. Now they need to get back to doing that. No easy baskets, no three-point baskets, and definitely no cheap fouls putting them on the line. And we see Coach Taffy Charles there for the Ravens. What's his message in this late timeout? What is his message to his team for the Ravens? Take care of the basketball. You don't really need to force anything at this point. You're up four. You're definitely in control of the game. Take care of the basketball. Work the clock down. Work the ball around and give them less up time to work with. Also, just play great defense. And there's a... And that is exactly what you didn't say. What you don't want to see. Didn't take care of the basketball. A quick turnover and two more points for the Ravens. But you good on Carlton for getting those two points. Definitely, you have to protect the basketball, and that's a big thing in this game, especially in such a close game. You don't want to be turning the ball over with under two minutes left. And there's off target from Cole Newton, so now we went from four points to now six, and Carlton has the ball. Latif has it, now it's gonna be Warnholtz, they swing it, here's Latif. Guarded by Newton, and that's going to be a travel call. So big call for the GGs as we've got two minutes left. I feel like the travel calls are a tough call to make on this floor because the floor definitely does look slippery. It looks like the players are having a hard time getting their footing. So I think the refs are letting certain calls go, but the more obvious ones they're calling, just like the last one. Newton guarded by Shepard. Here's Stajic now. 
Worked up by Latif. Kevin 0-2, and that's going to be a kicked ball from Warren Holt, so that'll set 14 back on the clock. Minute 43 to go. Carlton's second-ranked team in U Sports. The GG's third-ranked. And a big rebound there for Grant Shepard. Crunch time here for the GG's. Going to need a stop. Ravens would love to get a basket and make this a three-possession game. Who else but Warren Holtz to be guarded by Pepe. Looks like he tried to step back a little bit. And there's a nice steal by Stajic. He's going to go in on his own. And a beautiful finish. Make this a four-point game. Nice steal. Good finish. Strong one by Stajic. Great job by Stajic. Protect the basketball. You have to take care of the basketball. Vraken gets across midcourt. And a big, strong finish from Shepard, who slams it down and forces a timeout by the GGs. Carlton now up six with one minute left in the fourth quarter. Minute left in the fourth quarter. GG's with the ball, down six. Gary, we're still looking at best shot available. Still lots of time, right? Lots of time. It's just a matter of getting the ball up the court quickly, running that offense, getting their offense set quickly, and make sure that they have enough time to get, get another possession after this. But they have to go quick, and they have to be efficient. Cole Newton almost loses the handle there. Into Guillaume Pepin. Kick it to the corner. Steich, the corner three from 0-2. Pepe flying in for the rebound, cannot get it. They're going to likely have to foul here, you would think. Down six, Vraken turns it back. The little jumper off short, and that was a tough play for the Ravens. Probably didn't want to go too quickly. And Stajic might go. have to take go, this. Stich. He does take the three. And he can't get the friendly bounce, but the GGs save it. And Newton open for three. And again, once more. The GGs missed opportunities there. They had chance after chance. And Lady Luck was not on their side. 0-2, the corner three. And another miss, and we have a winner. The Capital Hoops Classic, taken by the Carlton Ravens, their second straight, 13th overall, by a score of 67 to 61. A six point victory eerily mirrors the women's match from earlier today, which was also a six point win for Carlton. Tough game for the GGs, but a great win for Carlton, right? Definitely a great game played by both teams. Both teams coming in here ranked number two and number three. The game did not disappoint. Well, unfortunately, somebody had to be a winner. Congratulations to the Carlton Ravens, and congratulations to you, Ottawa, for a great game. 
Both of these teams now going to sit at 14 and four on the season. Carlton picking up the win, of course. U Ottawa with the loss, but still second and third ranked team in the nation. Can't expect to see much changes. And we will see what happens at the end of the week. Carlton, of course, with a game against Queens on Sunday. U Ottawa with the rest of the weekend off. So we'll just stay here tuned to OUA.TV and CBC Sports. We're going to have the trophy presentation shortly. But overall, 67 to 61 is the final score. So for Gary Gallimore, I am Chris Curries, and thank you for tuning in.